Hello guys, this is Crozo Text Master. Welcome back to my newsletter. This week is I should be looking at is June fifteenth. Monday, 2015. And this week is a little bit special because I am not announcing any games. Why? It's the week of E3. And what's the point of announcing games? It's E3 is going to be doing it for three days. Now, think of this as a, as a pre-thought, what my things are before E3 actually starts tomorrow. But, um... I'm going to also discuss other things like what's happening on my channel. So you can say this is an update, a special update. Uh, so let's get started with uh, what's happening, what I think is going to happen in E3. What it's uh, Sony, Microsoft, oh, like or the Xbox people, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo are going to be announcing or any and, uh, and other game studios that I can think of my he at the top of my head that I think should be worthy of mentioning. Um, first of all, Sony is doing an amazing job this year. It's been, it's actually, I would like to say it's a top company. It has, I mean, though Nintendo is good, but you stay in like in a certain community, obviously that community is going to always seem better than everybody else. But I like to stay in, uh, multiple communities and, you know, and just stay in tune. And I have noticed that Sony has been doing an excellent job lately. And if I did not have a Wii U with me at the moment, you know, though I can't use it, uh, I would totally go with Sony. Sony is amazing. They have better graphics. The price is fair. The games are amazing. The deals are amazing. Though Destiny did hurt them a little bit. The graphics on Destiny, though, were amazing. And we have Black Ops 3 coming out in, like, November. I wonder if they're going to show any, like, trailers or some... Alpha, like alpha or beta gameplay when they were over there, because it, it's almost up. You know, it's like it's five months away, and then they have to release the game. So that might not seem a lot of time for you know your little kids, but my age, which I'm turning 20, twenty-one, it's it's a little fast. You know, five months is almost equivalent to like two and a half man now. It's really bad. I mean, I think it's bad, <laughs> uh, but that's not. But it's real good, and I'm really excited. And when I th when I say Black Ops Three, I hope they don't butcher it like. Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare was good for one week and that's it. Literally, there was a bunch of videos there and then everybody just quit. Because one, it was horrible gameplay, horrible layout, and the maps weren't that fair. Like literally, depending what you did, you either won all the time, you lost all the time. It was really unfair and I think the original, they should go back to the roots and see what made these games stand out. What made... Modern Warfare 1, 2, you know, Call of Duty 1 through 4, especially 4, 4 I heard is really good. Stand up. What made that game a, a universal base? So I hope the Sony does something. I know Sony's going to be announcing games. It's, it's obvious. Are they going to be announcing Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Maybe. I'm looking for some decent, a nice RPG, uh, or some nice nice RPG games that I would like to I could play. Because I'm a nice RPG guy. Now, now, now let's shift to Microsoft. Microsoft is doing it. They're doing a good job. The games are they're, they're sending out is good. They're just laying the games at the wrong time. For crying out loud, they re-release the Mortal like Mortal Kombat X for the three Xbox 360. I'm not gonna buy that game now. If I had an Xbox One, I'm not gonna buy it. I have an Xbox One. I have, I have the one for Xbox One. What's the point? What's the point of doing something like that? Whatever company did that was a horrible plan. Like, I would never do something like that. Oh my gosh, it's it's horrible. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I gotta release a little bit. Now, also the graphics are amazing, but I wish they separated the software when they did it. You can't really do anything without the Kinect. I mean, they're probably now you can. They probably did a bunch better, but why? Why so late? Why so now? <sighs> so, am I? They're gonna announce anything? They're probably gonna announce like a lot of like, like new innovative games. You know, I don't mind new innovative, but if there's something that I'm not, I'm gonna question a little bit because when they send out some new innovative, that's called one uh, resistor. 
That was a good game. But they sent out the wrong time and they displayed it wrong. It was a it was wrong wrong people, wrong crowd, whatever. The game did not take off. I liked the game still. I didn't play it. I see a bunch of gameplays about it. I like the game. It's my game. I the game I would love to play. It's a strategy RPG based game. Though I, w I won't say it's on my top, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I will enjoy it. I enjoy the game out of it. Now, that's all I can say. That's what I think. I hope they're going to announce. Are they going to announce any new games? Yes, they are. It's, it's Microsoft. They're always going to be announcing new games. The only, one, the only company I'm really focused and worried about is Nintendo. The Wii U is a failure. I mean, not the console itself. Like, there's many bugs about it. They did not let companies be innovative with the technology that they have presented to them. They said, you got to do this. No, I'm, I'm not going to let you do that. You, you can only do this. I don't want that. You got to let the game be innovative. That's what. That's why uh, I see like other companies that when they're doing, uh, when it comes to like other companies like, hey, we use this new tech. Like the Pokemon X and Y, they had new technology coming out for that. Oh, they had a new mechanic, like the XY mechanics, which allowed them to be more 3D. And now we know what Pokemon are, 3D comparison. You know, some the, the when that something like that would happen was Soul Heart Gold Soul Silver. You know, when Pokemon were following you, you know, now it's like, oh wow, look, each Pokemon has a pixel. But now with with the new Pokemon, now we can see it, the, see them how they are in like in a 3D perspective. So that's very in it now. Now everybody's always talking. Oh, they're gonna announce Zelda, 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 Zelda. Obviously, they're gonna announce Zelda. Are they gonna talk about like a whole session? No, maybe five minutes. I'm gonna say yes. The game going progress. We are dealing with a lot of junk. We're learning some tricks so you guys can enjoy it. And they're uh, gonna say, but they're gonna say, but we have this game coming out. They're gonna say something like that, like. Nintendo is a little iffy, and as also Super Smash, we also. You think they're gonna they're gonna announce characters? Yes, they're gonna announce Super Smash character. We're gonna announce like one of the characters. Cause I did a little boop, 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 research or a little quote searching, and they saw. Uh, can't remember who the guy is. I'm so bad now. I'm a horrible person because I'm a big Super Smash fan. I can't remember the guy who created. It. Said. It does take. It takes a lot of like resources to develop a new character in the game. It's not as simple as, you know, you know, like Project Then, which is like a kind of a code over. Like you lay a code over another code, which is a lot easier than making a gen generate a whole new code for the game. So I'm obviously I'm going to expect a character, a Super Smash character announcement. Is it going to be Ryuk? Probably. But um, other games. Star Fox. I, the game, I, mean, I don't think Star Fox is getting another game, guys. It, the game died back in like the, the when the DS came out or oh, 3D. That this was the last game, and it was more of a remake. The games are like the top ones are Zelda and Mario, and those games are having trouble nowadays. So I don't know, but I think Pokemon I mean, is is doing better than that, those games. No, I haven't even I haven't even completed I started Omega Ruby yet. Oh well. So uh, let's uh let's see what else they think. F Zero. If they do if they announce an F Zero, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna F LP it automatically. I'm not gonna say, hey guys, F Zero, booyah. If it comes out, I will buy the game. I will buy it because that game is good. I did a mini series on it. It was the the 64 game was good. I want to play the GameCube one. Oh well, that's my th pre thought so far. Um, you tell me what you guys think is gonna happen in E3. Also, let's go to my channel. At your channel. Okay, I have two jobs, guys. That's why the timing seems a little off when I put YouTube video uh, when I upload a video. And uh, it's good. And so far, I'm doing my best except that one week. I'm doing my best to do both schedules. Doing it's like I have you can say I have four, four or five jobs. I say four or five because 
can say I have to, you know, do some. I didn't say five. I'm gonna say five now. Okay, first of all, I have two jobs. That's two. I got this channel, and I got my Sky Skyward Equine channel, and I got my religion. I have to attend. I'm a very religious man. I'm not gonna speak too much about him. That's all I'm gonna say. I have to dedicate, divide each of those times fairly. I have to, de like, all equal. Religions first. My two, my, my YouTube, my, my two other jobs is, is like second. I would, like those, are, like right there, almost up there. I wouldn't even put them actually. Let me put them down like to like bottom two because I really don't care if I lose those jobs. I could get another job easily. I have made multiple deals with multiple managers multiple times. And he said, if you ever lose your job, you come right here. And I made it a solid agreement. I could go, I could say I quit both my jobs and I could get a job at Arby's. And yes, I could. Or at McDonald's. I, Pizza Hut. For, for like, I can even go to Walmart and say, where do I, where's my position today? I'm not gloating that I have many connections. I just, you have to have connections. You have to work for your connections. You're not going to expect them to feed you in your hand. Now, I'm trying to know that my job bottom, jobs are bottom too, but it's taking a lot of my time because I still have to put a lot of work in them, you know, the jobs. Yeah, I'm, that's, I accepted the, the responsibility. My Skyward Equine is above this channel because my friend's in it and he asked me to do it. So I'm doing it for him. It's kind of a favor. And my channel's in the middle. So religion, Skyward, this channel, my jobs. So that's why if it seems something else is important, it's because I'm trying to do my best, guys. This week, double Donkey Kong, because I'm almost done, guys, of Donkey Kong. I want to finish Donkey Kong because I don't want to play it anymore. I hate the game. I literally hate the game, Donkey Kong Country. <sighs> so we got double episodes. What series am I going to do next? I don't know. I might actually do like some smash training sessions, like 30 minutes training sessions, seeing what I could do. Uh, I'd probably be like a character focus once, every, like every other, like, oh, I'm gonna be practicing my combo or checking up or something. I don't know. I'm, I might be like, or some some training, uh, sparring with my, with my, uh, with my friends. Uh, I probably do some sparring with some of my friends, and um, I try to get on a I'll get on a Skype call with them, record it somehow, so that I could you know hear them. Because I really think I should do something. Battle zones. I have not forgotten my battle zones. Nobody's on nobody's on the game anymore, so I have to switch to the Wii U. But like I said, it's in the it's in it's in uh in working pro the VIP work in progress. So, I'll tell you when I get it up. Don't worry. But that's all I got to say this week before it gets long. Because I'm already at 13 and, almost 13 and a half minutes. Okay, guys. This crow's got to hit, got to hit, got to like hit his nest and take a rest. Because I got a job to finish the day out. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy. And guys, I should like to note this. Please have a little respect for the employees at your fast food joints. And at retail because they are really working hard. And people that say that we don't care is, they're dead wrong actually. A lot of pe the people actually do care how people get their food. I care how my people get their food because I like to see myself as a chef. And if people dissatisfied, that means I did not do my job as a manager. I guess I'm a manager. So, if you, you know, your food, you know, if your food is like not the way you want it, just go up politely and say, yo, uh, you must have messed up on my order. I, uh... They didn't like the, how you did it. If you mind, if I get a, a different one, though they're ninety-five percent, at least my job, a hundred percent, because I will permit it. Will get you. We get you a new sandwich. I do not. Obviously, if you're gonna say, oh, God, you you added pickles, and say I want a new sandwich, the real don't do that. That's annoying and then a waste of food. Cause we have to throw it away if you return. Just pick it off and we added it by accident. Really, it's not that hard. If you're allergic. More understandable. I, you know, I say, oh, this guy's allergic. Say, oh, this has thing, I'm allergic. Like, no problem, we'll get you a new sandwich. I am not gonna waste food because you didn't like a pickle. 
Oh, and it's going on right now. Almost 15, 15 minutes now. Okay, I'm out. Peace.